Go down! It's a good thing you have you really telegraph your one attack, and it's very easy to dodge, because otherwise that'd be a deep shit. Alright. Who else is alive? Edwin, did you die yet? I'd really like it if you'd stay alive. Oh, she's alive, cool. That's probably why Oh Jesus Christ, he's shooting arrows at me. Oh motherfucking fuckery archers! I hate archers so much in this game. It's really hard. I wish that you could see arrows somehow. That gives it, like, maybe if it was, like, a big glowing thing. Or just something you could see in the dark at all, basically. Because, unfortunately, it feels impossible to know that you're being attacked. Especially since this game's so dark all the time. Oh, he's gonna charge me. Nope. He did poison me, though, that son of a bitch. Ah, oh, what killed me? Was there one guy left? Oh, come on! He was facing the opposite direction when he shot that arrow. <gasps> Jesus! He came at it. Well, he got me. No! Fuck you guys! No! Dodge like a fucking fucker, crazy fuck, 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 fuck. How am I alive? Fuck it. All three archers are down. I think I'm okay. I think I can do make this work. I see the poison to go away. Because I can't even heal if the poison's on me. There, there we go. The poison's gone. So both, all three ranged characters in this fight are now dead, so now... It, ugh, fucking poison. It's so annoying. Uh, yep, there it is again! Look at me, I'm clever. Look at me, I have a move that one-shots everybody. Except, well, it doesn't actually kill people, but that one hit, if you get touched by it at all, then you lose all of your health over the course of a few seconds. Game is balanced. <laughs> I, I don't have any perspective for how this game is on other difficulties, but oh god damn it, god damn it, he's just shooting poison everywhere. Well, fuck, I'll hit him. There we go, he's dead. Fuck that guy. And now I'm poisoned. Hey Edwin, you want to stand back up and be useful or something? Uh. Well, I'd love to fight you, buddy, but you're gonna kill me in one hit because I've been poisoned. And poison is kind of bullshit in this game. But the poison's gone now, so I can use another healing item in the same fight. <laughs> I'm using so many healing items in this one fight. Oh no. Wreck his stuff before he gets to respond. Stab, 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 Where's his health bar? Where is his health bar? There it is. I'm like, I can't even tell how many hit points he has. The game doesn't feel like telling me. Level 15. If only leveling up maxed out all of your health and mana and stuff. Let's see how much loot I can pick up around here. Hello, Edwin. Did you have a nice nap? Definitely need to make sure I grab everything that everyone drops so I can make as many healing items as possible whenever I do have the ability to do so. Let's level up. Because I can finally level again. Let's make my fire melee better because clearly, yeah, it's, being able to cast it instantly sounds useful. And then burning enemies are more sensitive to fire. Okay, so that sounds great actually for the, putting your weapons on fire because if your weapons are on fire and then when they're on fire you're hitting them with more uh, how do I put it? Like, your weapons are on fire, and they have a chance to set people on fire while they're on fire, and then they're still on fire, so... You put- you hit someone with your daggers, and then they're on fire, and then you keep hitting with their daggers, now they're taking more damage from their fire. Huh. At this point, I'm taking so much damage from combat, it might be worth doing the Guardian Flames. I don't like the idea of them, because they just slightly reduce damage, as opposed to eliminating it or something. Like, I wish that they were- I wish that it was like other games where... When you get an item like that, it, they actually are like, Oh yes, I can do it! Minus 20% spell cost. I've been waiting a while for that. Now, hopefully I'll be able to cast significantly more between all these upgrades I've been getting. I really hope that I can find the way into the city. I'm gonna be really bummed out if I came all the way out here just to find out that I actually needed to talk to some NPC first. I don't know what, how I'll handle that. In for, you, for what you guys see, I guess I'll just jump cut back to the talking to the guy I need to talk to and then jump cut to where I've already gotten because you guys don't need to see me play through this whole area twice. What do we see? Anything around here? I can barely see. It's really weird. Frankly, the light coming out of my body should probably go further. Oh, there's bad guys. And they aggro on me? Oh, maybe they didn't. They're totally going to see me coming though, aren't they? I don't think I can go around, so I have to go in this way. Maybe I can sneak up on the shield, dude. Oh, that archer's probably gonna see me. No! Oh, yep, there's, that's not a stealth attack at all. Well. Uh, nope, wrong button. There we go, fire attack. Right, I don't even need to cast it anymore. I could've just hit it right away. 
You're on fire, bitch! And because you're on fire, you're more susceptible to fire damage! Ha ha! Synergy! You're hell of on fire now! Take it! Take it! <laughs> Take it! <laughs> Jesus, did I just beat this game? <laughs> did I just get the specific upgrade I needed to obliterate this entire game? Because... Wow. Wow, Edwin, nice use of mind control, or whatever you call it. I'm just calling it mind control because that's like a generic name for that kind of ability. And I still haven't looked up what her ability might be called. Yeah, you blow up all that nothing that's here because everyone's dead already. That went super well. Did picking up that slight upgrade that makes it so that setting people on fire... Wow. Just that power that makes it so that on fire our opponents are more vulnerable to damage? Might have seriously turned things around. Whoa. Is it daylight now? Did the sun just go up? Is it because I killed all the bad guys? Maybe? Maybe time passes when you kill and turn up. Oh. Hey, bad guy. I can't stealth, so mu someone must have noticed me already. Well, it's a good thing they're not smart enough to alert each other that I'm here. Can I go around? Is there someone? Okay, I can't go around. Hey, buddy. You're on fire now. Ah! And now I'm dodging. Bye. <laughs> Pro tip, legitimate strategy. <laughs> ah. Fuck you! I like hanging out in these these uh, little crevices here because, uh, wow, being able to cast that uh, weapon, the fire spell on your on your weapon instantly is actually really handy because it means you don't have to be careful about when you cast it. You just press it in the middle of combat and it just starts. Unfortunately, that asshole with the freaking poison keeps draining all of my hit points. I like being in these valleys because it means ranged characters can't hit me from here, which is that asshole over there. And everyone else is fairly manageable for the most part. Wow, my health, my mana is all full already. It's nice being able to just have manageable mana. And even Edwin's doing okay. This is doing pretty, everything's pretty okay right now. Oh look, I'm out of combat. Cool. Can I stealth? I can. Can I actually sneak up on someone now? No, I'm not going to be able to. It's daylight now. And both of those guys are just sort of facing my direction. What I could do is I could check to see if I can cast any more health potions. I can make I can make one. Okay, that's better than nothing. Oh, he noticed me. Uh, I really wish my outside of combat health regeneration was a little better. Did he not? Did he notice me or not? I'm confused. I, I, okay, now I can go back and stealth. The AI is interesting in this game. He noticed me for a second, then he's like, "Eh, I guess I'm done noticing him." Well, let's go take out this archer asshole then before he gets to do anything annoying. <laughs> Fuck, I thought I, I thought I successfully dodged! Jesus Christ, this guy's quick on the draw. Well, flame weapon means you're screwed. Now I just need to wail on this guy before he gets to respawn. Oh! What a little sweeping attack he did. Uh, it's interesting that the lock on dot wasn't even close to being on the character, if you notice that. The reticle that I'm locking onto is pretty, pretty stationary compared to the row! Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay, did I actually dodge that? Ooh! I wasn't 100% sure if I successfully dodged or if I screwed up and missed. Because I'm not sure if I had full, this much health beforehand or not. Uh, see, everything's going okay though, at least. This guy's actually not that dangerous. His main attack's relatively easy to dodge. And his poison is, only, is mostly dangerous because of the fact that it makes me vulnerable. Ow! It's mostly... Fuck you! Poison's mostly bad for this guy because... Fuck. Never mind. Yeah, it just it lowers your health so much that if one hit will kill you. And unfortunately, it came from him. But it's much more dangerous when there's more people around because that one hit can come from everyone else. <laughs> Definitely want to target archers first in every fight in this game because fuck archers and their ability to just one-shot you from across the air. Oh no! They spawned me so far back! Ooh. I believe I've been seen. What are they going to do about it? Well, the guy on the left is apparently never going to notice. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> he was just standing there looking the wrong way. I'm like, okay, dude. Wow, nice job, Ed, when you actually hit them. Oh, look, a guy. I guess that guy just didn't want to help. Oh, well, I guess I'll take out both of your friends while you're standing there. Blammo, so they're both down. Now what are you going to do, buddy? You going to fail? It looks like you're going to fail. A nifty trick I've noticed is that... Okay, that actually didn't. That actually wasn't a great example. Uh, what I thought was a nifty trick is that you can hit them with your daggers when they're ow, ow. 
That hurt. <laughs> you can hit them with your fire melee attacks to set them on fire, and then follow that up with a uh, fireball attack to do bonus damage. And when, like when I tested it a second ago, it was su super effective. And when I tested it just now on screen, it wasn't very effective. Oh, I accidentally pressed the touchpad. Yeah, come at me, fat guy. You can do it. Just come over here. Get him, Edwin. I don't feel like fighting. I don't want to be poisoned again. It's the worst. Please, anything in these boxes? No, they don't break. You do, how you doing, Edwin? Oh, he's, he's mind controlled. I can use this. Haha. -ha. Fuck that guy. Oh shit. Can I hit him from here? I don't want I don't want to get poisoned. Hey. Successfully avoided getting poisoned that time. And I got some tainted blood so I can I might be able to make more potions now. Where does this go? No, oh, it's a ladder. I mean not a ladder, a bridge. Which is not the same thing as a ladder at all. Oh, bad guys. Hi, dude. How you doing? Did you have a good day? Wow, he's just unle unleashing the uh, arrows over there, isn't he? And now he's dead. How those arrows help you now, buddy? Nice mind control. Now I can just wail away on him and not actually have to deal with the repercussions of my actions. Like an adult. Alright, give me all your loots. Ooh. Is there gonna be any cool loot over here? Bam! Fuck you, crate. You don't deserve to live. He's probably communist. I don't know. <laughs> Let's continue towards that top left corner, which I believe is hopefully the gates, so I can continue past this area. Because I've seen enough of it after today. Mostly because I was respawning in that one spot over and over again. I gotta say, I had more trouble with that one little tiny area of enemies that had three archers in it. I had more trouble with that than, uh, most bosses in Dark Souls 2. And the funny thing is that it's not like that's... It's not like that's gonna. This game's gonna attract the audience of Dark Souls or anything like that because Dark Souls is good, is hard, good for good reasons. But this game's kind of kind of hard for gimpy reasons sometimes, isn't it? Like get obliterated in this area over and over again because the game just decided. Oh no! Oh no! I can't sprint anymore. Can I still fight normally? What are the effects of being overburdened? I'm apparently over my 100 wa pounds weight. I could probably sell these for something. Well, not that one. Can't sell that one for shit. But I also can't drop it, it looks like. My only options are equip and navigate. Well, I'll just have to try to continue on alive without the ability to sprint. And hope that I can find a merchant again and sell things, which I have not been doing as much as I probably should be. But I don't like the inventory system problem. very much, so I don't... Who? Do not think that victory will suffice. There are enough of them to raise the alarm and call for reinforcements. We have to find another way. Well, it's a good thing this wasn't the marked location on the map, so it's not even really a detour. <laughs> I was headed up the, towards that one other... Anyway. Anyone gonna kill me around here? No? I don't like the inventory system a lot in this game, because it has... What it, it has an upgrade system that's essentially the equivalent of like uh, gems in Diablo and stuff like that. And unfortunately, when you compare items, it compares your upgraded item to the unupgraded item you're comparing it to, which means that you can't. Oh Jesus! They're fighting someone that's probably on my side, or are they? Is that guy good or bad? What's going on over there? All all I know is archers must die because they're archers. Fuck! Oh! Get away from me, piece of shit! I just want to kill your archer. Are you friendly? You weird lich thing. Jesus, that guy got me bad. I need to be careful. Ow. What is that thing? Was that the only guy? Was everyone else fighting that one guy? Interesting. All right, let's try to take better use. Let's try to make better use of the fact that uh, they're being distracted by this creature over here. First, let's fuck up this archer by blowing it all to hell. There we go. Now, let's go. Let's go after the other archer if we can. Fuck you! Ah, oh, god damn it! He's going rapid fire. Archers are already hard enough, I think, without them being able to be like, "Oh, now I fight! Now I fire three arrows instead of one." That's kind of irritating. Okay, I'm low on health. I should fix this before I continue on. Good. Oh, Jesus! Good thing I have a lot of hit of uh, potions. There we go. Let's do fire dodge. All right, now fire weapon. 
him to death, and hopefully the guy that seems to be maybe not an enemy will still be alive in a second here. Ow. Dick. There's so many... There's so much fire and purple and crazy effects on the screen, it's actually a little hard to tell if he's alive and how many hit points he has. Oh, what in the world are you? Now I've seen everything. The dead walkers kicking each other's asses. I beg your pardon? What? This one talks? Who the hell are you, a lich? A zombie scribe? We've only known one another a few seconds, and already you insult me. Charming, I must say. If you aren't one of them, then what are you? I am an immortal, superior spirit. And you? So you're an ice lord. I thought you'd be... taller, or something. I have absolutely no involvement with that bunch of cheapskate conjurers, and I would never humiliate myself by working for them, since that's what you seem to be suggesting. Yeah? Rotting flesh, sticking out bones? You sure as hell look like a damn dead walker to me. Tut tut. Did no one ever tell you not to judge a book by its cover? It's true that you're young, but use your wits. Would I be fighting my own troops if what you suggest were the truth? All I can be sure of is that you're not really alive. And that makes you my enemy. And what's more, you're in my way. Yeah, you show that protagonist which, which, how much of a douchebag he is. My guy just deserves what's coming at him. He's just being a dick. Get him! Are we, gonna, are we about to fight? Oh, we are about to fight. Oh, God. Well, I better heal a bit then. Uh, I don't like that he has ice powers because I'm weak against those. Fireball? Oh, that didn't do shit. Oh, that did not do shit. Let's do fire attacks. What? Yes, mind control the shit out of him. That's the secret. That's how I will destroy him. Just hold him there while <laughs> this this actually really made it easy. Oh, 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 I guess this is over. Kinda anticlimactic. I yield. This rotting body will not survive more punishment. Now put that cane down slowly and walk and walk backwards. I want your hands behind your back. I mean, behind your head. Shit, In all I'm a bad cop. Six thousand years, I have never witnessed such power. You seem to be as unique a being as I am. What is the source of your power? What are you? There's a demon inside me, a creature of flame that claims to come from the world heart. How fascinating! Even if the term demon seems to lack precision, nonetheless, I must confess that in spite of my vast knowledge. I have no idea what this entity really is. At last, something interesting. I was almost dying of boredom. I suspect that exploring what's inside you will probably be quite exciting. No, don't speak. I'm coming with you. I can't wait to find out more about your case. So how shall we begin our newfound friendship? Ah... Uh... Yeah, come with me. You might be my frankly, you might be my new favorite character. Especially if I'm gonna be the sort of dark playthrough. I have to go into Carolfast. You seem to know your way around. Come with me. But of course, there is no finer guide than myself. I know a secret way into Carolfas. Is your secret that we walk through the front door? Oh geez, Edwin just vanished. How do they explain that in the story? We're kind of in a dangerous situation, and Edwin's really useless, as you've seen so far from my experience with her, how she dies in every single fight. So I'm only, I guess I'm just forced to assume the fact that, you know, she's dead now, forever. Mathras, do you have a moment? My dear, I have all of eternity. Who are you exactly? I am Mathras. Immortal and unique. Right. So why aren't you out there hanging out with your dead walker friends? First of all, I don't have any pals. I'm a little too old for that. Secondly, I find your implication that I'm associated with them most unpleasant. I have nothing in common with those dead things. 
I've been around for over 6,000 years, and I'm still very much alive, thank you. I admit this body is looking a little warm. 6,000 years old? Hey, you don't look a day over 250. Hey, modern jokes in a medieval flatter. game. I did, however, lose a toe this morning. Nonetheless, these dead walkers are simply corpses if they're animated by magic. Whereas I am an immortal spirit who changes bodies when they wear out. There's absolutely no similarity. Okay, so he, cha he changes bodies from time to time. I was going to say, if he's 600 years old and he lost one of his ten toes this morning, that's an amazing coincidence. But I guess if he changes t uh, bodies over and over again, he's more like the ultimate villain at the end of Full Metal Alchemist. That's not so dumb. It's what allows you to go on having an effect on the world, I guess. Exactly. I give these bodies extra life that they would not have had if they'd stayed dead. Though, of course, these days, it's unlikely they would stay dead for very long. Talk to you later. So he's a body hopper. That's int that's actually really interesting. I like this character. He's, he's my new favorite companion. Screw everyone else. It is funny, though, that they, they go out of their way to give every single companion character as much personality as they can when no one else in the game has even the slightest hint of it. So they're like, this is the dark mage character, and she's misunderstood and all punk rock and stuff, and doesn't have time for all these pitiful normal humans. And this is the, this is the knight, and he's all honorable, but he talks in the third person because he's from a weird land. And the, then you have this guy, of course, where, like, what's the personality of captain or buffalo or hunter is his name hunter i don't know i guess they saw me shit hey guys you want to come at me oh yeah you better walk all the way over here alone yeah just stay far away from all of your allies and we'll get along great my swords will get along great with your spine hey buddy nope that's not how you hit me at all jesus christ you're gonna be dead before your friend ever gets here at the rate that he's coming Ow! Well, that's what I get for glancing at the other guy for a second. Well, fuck it. Fireballs. That was a very lame fireball. Try it again. No! Don't shield bash me. It's very rude. Boom! Man. I think I really like the idea of melee with fire, because my all my other fire spells are just not consistent in a way that is really useful. Because if, if I'm going to build myself around using my mana to damage people, and then I use up all my mana, and shit damage happens, then that's not very viable. <laughs> oh, there's two of them. Because why wouldn't there be? Hey, Necromancer, you want to solve all my problems for me? <laughs> I don't like poison. I don't want it. No. Oh, here it comes. Oh, now I'm poisoned. At least I destroyed him with that really powerful fireball. <laughs> Get out of here. Get out of here. Alright, now he's down. He's low on health. One more fireball, I might be able to wipe him out. Gotta be careful with these guys, because when they die, they explode. Which apparently hurts everybody, including their friends. Which is actually, that part's kind of handy. And when they get low on health, they just start spewing poison everywhere. There we go. If I can get them to aggro on my allies, I can sneak up behind them, and I can just obliterate them with a really powerful, sort of shotgun-style blast of fire, but if I, uh, but if I can't distract them, then it's actually relatively difficult to get the spell off, because it has a bit of a casting time. Is there an item over here? I see glowing stuff. Oh, there we go. It's a barrel. And now it's a burl. Actually, the barrel didn't seem to change in appearance very much. These barrels are clipping straight through the wall, by the way. Like, that's just what this normal environment looks like all the time. I didn't, I didn't do anything. That's not like a weird physics glitch. That's just... That's just them not being having much attention to detail and sort of throwing stuff out there. This game, this company makes uh, RPGs and uh, various games pretty frequently, as it would appear, and so it looks like they kind of cut corners along the way. Looks like we finally made it to Carthaldus, though. I mean, Carthas. There we go, Carthas. I doubt I shall ever forget the strange series of events that led to my meeting young Vulcan.